we have got Larry Donald in action against Terrell Biggs and uh, there he is former 1984 Olympic gold medalist back in Los Angeles whatever happened to Terrell Biggs never won a title fight as a professional beaten by Mike Tyson in seven rounds for the undisputed crown ten years ago when Tyson was still a very dangerous commodity He's had two challenges for the USBA Championship. Lost both times, the first time to Mike, the bounty hunter on points over 12, and the second time a few years ago to Buster Mathis, also on points over 12 rounds. So, there's Biggs. Also fought Lennox Lewis, was stopped in three. Riddick Bowe prior to that, stopped in eight. But uh, I suppose one of his best wins must be over Marion Wilson, a 10-round points win. It's also been stopped by Francesco Damiani and Gary Mason. But does boast a win over James Quick Tillis. Ooh, way back now, more than 10 years ago. Anyway, here's Larry Donald. He's only lost one, you know, and that was, as you know, every round against Riddick Bowe. One thing I don't like about Larry Donald, he went up to Muhammad Ali and said they were both great fighters. Where did he get Time that one now from? For your main event, ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. When the bell sounds, the man in charge of all the action will be your referee from Windsor, Connecticut, the incomparable Steve Smoger. Introducing the principles. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with black trim. He steps into the ring at 244 pounds. This veteran fighter sports a professional record. 29 victories against only 9 defeats. 19 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In 1984, he represented the United States, boxing his way to an Olympic gold medal. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyrell Biggs. Biggs. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, also wearing white trunks with black trim. He weighed in for tonight's bout at 234 and one half pounds. He steps into the ring with a professional record of 26 victories against only one defeat with one draw. Fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, he's the reigning WBC Continental America's champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Larry the Legend Donald. So there you are, 10 rounds in the heavyweight division. Larry Donald calls himself the legend, can't think why, against Terrell Biggs. And Biggs once had it all. What's he got left? Not a lot. Inch taller, though, than Larry Donald. Donald is the spurious WBC Continental America's champion. It means nothing to me, I'm afraid. He was also, God knows how this ever happened, the WBA Latin America's champion, beat Juan Antonio Diaz in 1994. How did he ever qualify for that, I wonder? Maybe he had a holiday in Mexico once. Anyway, round one, both men wearing the same shorts. And uh, let me try and distinguish them for, well, it's easy done, isn't it? But Biggs has got uh, almost no hair. And Larry Donald learnt to box watching videos of Ali, Robinson, and of course you can really tell, can't you? He's a bit of a cardboard cutout of Ali, to be honest with you. <laughs> Although he lacks that spark that made Ali special. In fact, he lacks that roaring fire that made Ali special. Nice jab. Biggs will be 37 in December. Born three days before Christmas. is 30 years of age now and that's been a big gap between these two that seven years is more than just a number big so coming off two victories he fought Ray Annis in Japan, by the way, was stopped in three. Annis uh, has been quite highly spoken of in some quarters. 
And the last win for Donald was a seventh round stoppage of Jose Ribalta. <laughs> And Donald really was quite an outstanding amateur. Fox, of course, in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. Beaten, I think, in the semis. But he had a very good start to 1990. He won the Olympic Festival in 89 and 90. Got the semi-finals of the World Championships in 91 and then won the world title in 92, beating the Cuban Roberto Ballado, who sadly died not too long ago. In fact, he got beaten in the quarterfinals in Barcelona. Good start this, though, for Donald. 55 wins, 6 losses as an amateur. Good form. <laughs> And Biggs is one of Boxing's hangovers. He's just doing it for the few thousand dollars he can earn. Donald still being talked of as a world title prospect. If you remember the way he fought Riddick Bowe, he lost every round. And also at the press conference, Bo smacked him on the chin with the right hand and a left hook that would have put a lot of guys over. But uh, it didn't seem to budge Larry Donald, who's won the opening, the opening round pretty clearly. And I thought the fight was won at that point, in fact. At the press conference, Donald never got into the match with Bo. The draw on his record, by the way, was a technical draw against one Dave Dixon. A cut preventing the fight going any further. He's had some good wins. He beat Mike Dixon in six. Jeremy Williams on points over 12. Burt Cooper was a good win for Donald. Stopped him in seven. Jorge Valdez was beaten for the thing, a thing called the North American Boxing Organization heavyweight title. That's uh, the WBO's domestic crown, if you like. And he beat Ahmad Abdin on points over 12, three fights ago to become the WBC Continental America's champion. If someone could let me know what that means, answers on a postcard, please. I still don't know the worth of the uh, Continental America's championship. Not the only thing that confuses me in today's boxing world, by the way, as I'm sure you know by now. Well, there they are. They've uh, actually identified these by saying that Biggs is wearing the white boots and Donald's wearing the black. Nice right there for Donald. Biggs goes over. Delayed reaction there from Terrell Biggs. Hits the floor, though, and looks none too keen to get up, does he? Bleeding for the nose here in the second round. Less than a minute on the clock. He's not going to beat the count, in fact. So, a knockout victory for Larry Donald in two rounds. Well... As shot as Biggs may be, that was a good finish from Larry Donald. The old classic one-two, the left jab, right cross, bang, on the chin. Delayed reaction, down Biggs he went. And referee Steve Smoger counted him out quite rightly. Well, I hope we get to see that again. Time. Time. I think he might have hurt his right hand doing that. One minute. One minute. KO. They are one minute of round two. And Biggs beating heavily from the nose. Yes. Oh. Here we go. Watch this again. Left, right. Ba bang. Good shots. Well, the left was just a, a teaser, really. One minute Bang. There you go. Smack on the chin. And he just crumbled, didn't he? The brain took a while to register, but then it told its feet there was nothing to hold them up. Here we go. Official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, your official time, one minute of the second round. Your winner by knockout, Larry the Legend Donald. So there's Larry the Legend Donald. Larry Donald. Winner in two rounds and uh, in pretty good style regardless of what i think of him so there you are i hope you've enjoyed uh, the boxing for tonight enjoy the rest of the weekend my name's steve holzer so i will leave you with two sides of the fight game there's the loser
And we've got a winner as well. Good night. Oh, okay.